How's it going, guys? BYD Prototype, aka Mr. 434. Got a few things I want to talk to you about. Uh, one thing is I've gotten back into Overwatch. Um, Call of Duty isn't really getting to me anymore. Uh, usually COD games will last to like August for me, but they're literally slacking on what to do. They're just releasing new guns and just doing nothing. Uh, usually with old COD games, their DLCs would drop every two months, and it's now like a three-month period from Eclipse to this one. So now everyone's just getting bored of the game, and they're just not even having fun with it. Uh, I can't... It doesn't appease to me. Like, with the introduction of Blackjack, I had a ton of fun playing as Blackjack. But now his, his challenges are the same, and it's really nothing fun for me. But with that... I've been going to Overwatch Grand Theft Auto again. Uh, I'm going to be posting a Grand Theft Auto video this week along with a Overwatch video. Uh, usually with my Overwatch videos, I'm at a party with my friends. One, because it gives you double XP when you actually play with a party. which I can It doesn't give you double, it gives you extra. My bad. So when you're playing with people, try to play with like friends or something you get more xp out of it instead of just playing by yourself like usually you get a game of like 810 xp if you're playing with like a party you get like a 20 percent increase so you're getting a fifth of what you got so out of 800 you're getting an extra 150 to like 175 more xp just for playing with your friends i don't know many people that don't play with their friends in video games but if you're playing overwatch play with your friends even if like you're by yourself invite someone the game's not hard I mean, everyone loses the games. Everyone wins the games. Uh, a lot of people just play for fun. Uh, yesterday, I was playing with my with just my skill, and he was Reinhardt, and he just fucking flew off the map like an idiot. Uh, I wish I would have recorded it, but I had to like leave at the time. I had to go like go get supper, and then I went to go see fireworks. Yeah. So with that said, in two weeks. I'll be trying to get a two videos for that week. It might be like a Monday and a Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to try doing like two videos a week to three. I'm already on two. I just want to do three. Um, might do Rocket Leagues and like Overwatch and probably GTA if like I can find a bunch of GTA clips. Uh, I have a GTA video that I want to post. Uh, I was playing like Rockets versus. And 20s or something I have no idea but I was just playing it because there was a bunch of people on playing it and it was pretty fun so mini games like that inside GTA are fun they're fun to post they're, f they're fun to play but you would need a bunch of people and a bunch of people usually don't want to join GTA matches of completely random people so that's why I really haven't posted GTA and plus when I moved to PlayStation I already had an account with Xbox I played it on the Xbox One, and it wouldn't transfer my character over for, to the PS4. Trust me, I've tried multiple times. I emailed their devs, everything. They wouldn't let me bring my character over. I'm just fucking stupid because I spent like 180 hours on GTA on the Xbox One and wouldn't let me transfer over to the PS4. They're just fucking stupid. Uh, so I literally had to restart over, but I don't really matter. It's having fun with my friends um, most of the time I'm not even driving around inside the game I'm just playing like mini games and shit races things like that uh, so that's the reason why GTA has been on my channel as much uh, in Rocket League their like third season has started and with the third season the skill gap reset came out and a bunch of other things so in this video you're watching these kids were down 2-0 and Wanting a save in a game of Rocket League is pretty much meaning, haha, you guys suck. You guys can stop that. If you ever played Rocket League and somebody what a saves me, you're literally going to get shit on the next few minutes. Uh, it's just how it is. Anyone who's ever played with me, I tell them straight off. I was like, if anyone what a saves me, I'm pretty much going to disregard them as an opponent. I'm just going to treat them as like a fucking little kid and just press offense throughout the whole game. And what happens in these next minute 45 is going to prove to why you don't want to save someone in the game. Especially if you're down already 2-0. I should have stole that goal. Let's go that pissed. But uh, now my whole team's winning a saving because, as you guessed it, 
they wanted to start wanting to saving us, so we're going to want to save them. And they really couldn't have done anything about it. Uh, in the skill reset, if you're playing with someone who's not very good, like I have my just my skill and my brother I usually play with, uh, I would have them as hosts of like a party so that the people they would face are the people that I would face. Because in my skill reset, I used to be a challenger... I can't think of what it is. It's like right underneath the third tier. It's like rank 9 for uh, like 1v1s, 3v3s, and things like that. I would be rank 9 out of all 16. So I'm fairly up there while they would be like at like a prospect 2, a prospect 3, or a challenger 3. So I'd be facing kids of their skill level, but I would be a lot higher than them. So I would be getting better people instead of shitty people so I have them post so I can start flying around getting better at flying and just completely striking or just being a goalie I tend to play goalie at half court for some stupid reason I don't know why but it's it works out in my favor sometimes I'll just be sitting there and I can have two people press goalie and I would be pretty much on offense slash half court defense like when I'm playing like right now I'm just staying at half court making sure I'm still pressing but I'm not really losing the goalie as much and this is where these kids get they start talking shit to themselves now or their teammates because they're fucking stupid I hate when people like sit there and like oh my teammates suck your teammate has a goal on you and he's higher than you so don't talk to the, to the kid who actually tied the game for you and now that you guys are losing you're just gonna talk shit to him uh, I faced these kids the other day and they were just complete shit. Oh, look at that. Give me that hat trick off that nice, sexy fucking pass right there. But, like, people that now talk shit are literally in parties. And some of my friends have been playing, like, Call of Duty, GTA, Overwatch. So I'll play Rocket League for, like, a good 20 minutes. And I'll get, like, one game out of it that's, like, uh, really good. Like, what's happening right now, I have, like, a hat trick. And I'll have, like, a really nasty goal. Like, that, the two that were in this game. Which I never, like, flew on the first one. But, like... Yeah, I just managed to like it. <laughs> but, see, it's... They're not really that good. Uh, so, that's why... I, see, the semi-pros, and I, they're facing off against me, and I'm a veteran. Which is like another 20 levels higher than they are. So it's pretty fucking stupid. Actually, no. It's about 30 levels higher than they are. It's pretty sad. I have a ton of time played on this game. I really don't want to say. I really don't want to show. Uh, but yeah. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed your 4th of July weekend. I'm going to be getting off of this so I can still enjoy it. And have some type of food and go to work and all that good stuff. So until next time, guys. See ya.